to lower the charge. So the thing is that if we have something as big as this, you can see this is a primary carbocation because the carbocation carbon is at attached directly to only one carbon atom. So the positive inductive effect, which is, uh, we'll talk about that, uh, we'll talk about that later, but the the giving of electrons, the the, the, the donating of electrons to uh, of uh, from CH, from this entire alkyl group towards the CH2 plus is mostly significant from this carbon atom, which is directly attached to it. It's not that significant from this or this or this or this. Similarly, in this case, it is most significant from this carbon atom, the, the moving of electrons. It is not that significant in this carbon atom. So in a nutshell, we can say that this carbon atom is donating electrons to the carbocation to reduce the charge density. But in the case of the secondary uh, carbocation, this carbon atom and this carbon atom, because both are directly bonded to the carbocation, both of them are moving electrons to the carbocation. So the lowering of charge is even stronger. Actually, I've written something wrong over here. This is not charge, this is stability. Uh, this is stability. So lower the charge, greater the stability, please. I'm sorry about that mistake. So yeah, you can see that this carbon is directly attached to two of them. So both of them will move electrons towards this carbocation and therefore the charge will be lowered even further compared, compared to this case. The charge will be lowered even further and therefore the stability will be even higher. So secondary carbocations are more stable than primary carbocations. So I'm making this sign to show greater stability. Then when you look at tertiary carbocations, uh, the, the, it's at, uh, the, the carbocation carbon is attached to three carbon atoms directly and all of them are moving electrons towards the carbocation. So the charge is lower, lowered even further, the positive charge is lowered even further and the stability is more, in, has increased even more. So tertiary carbocations are the most stable compared to secondary carbocations which are more stable than primary carbocations. So you can see this is how the stability increases from pi primary to secondary to tertiary. This is what you need to remember. Now this, the process by which uh, these alkyl groups share their electrons, they, they move their electrons towards the carbocation is called the positive inductive effect. So you should read all of these. Alkyl groups are electron donating groups. We have seen that. They cause the positive inductive effect. Positive inductive effect, basically they're trying to lower the positive charge on the carbocation. The positive in inductive effect stabilizes the carbocation because obviously it's lowering the charge on the carbocation. Tertiary carbocations are more stable than primary carbocations, so than secondary carbocations, which are more stable than primary carbocations. And this is because the more the number of alkyl groups directly attached to the carbocation, the greater the positive inductive effect caused by them and hence the greater the stability. So this is carbocations and their stabilities. Now types of organic reactions. So these are basically all the organic reactions, different types of organic reactions that we will be studying in, in the entire, not in this playlist, but in the entire AS level organic chemistry course. The addi uh, an addition reaction where something is added to the molecule, a substitution reaction where some, uh, where a group is replaced by another group in the molecule, an elimination reaction something is being removed from the molecule Hyd uh, and uh, hydrolysis reactions which is breaking a molecule using water reacting it with water oxidation so we know that oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons but here we will use a different definition for oxidation and reduction adding oxygen to a molecule is oxidation and or removing hydrogen from a molecule is oxidation and removing oxygen from a molecule is reduction or adding hydrogen to a molecule is reduction. So these are all the types of reactions that you will see in the playlists to come in the in the playlists that I will be doing after this playlist. So you will be aware about what we are talking about when I do those playlists. Now types of organic reactants you need to know because all our mechanisms will be based on these two types of, orga of organic reactants. So there are electrophiles, they are electron deficient species so that's why electrophiles, electro and files. F 
Triels means they want electrons. They, they are hungry for electrons. Electron deficient species. And nucleophiles are electron rich.